Uh, continuing, a report uh, out of the Washington Times legalizing illegal immigrants will cost $6.3 trillion in all the new welfare and everything else, which again is designed to just further bankrupt this country. Now let's go to this NRA news report breaking down what's really causing the violence in Mexico. Fast and furious and the open border policy of the globalists who want to erase the national sovereignty of our formerly great republic. Here's that report. This plague is spreading everywhere. People are assassinated, placed in trunks, left with banners indicating that this is what happens to individuals who are seeking to stop the cartels. My wife comes home from the grocery store and a woman's head is in the front yard. Is this America or is this Iraq? The worst of their society coming here to America to prey upon our innocent citizens. And this isn't a problem. The federal government has abandoned us. We've been driving down this border road here for about 10 miles. Have you seen a border patrol agent yet? I know that border, I think, as well as, as anyone. We turn on the TV and Janet Napolitano says... It is as secure now as it has uh, ever been. My, my These guys ought to be criminally tried for what they're doing in this nation. It's a deadly turf war. Rival Mexican drug cartels battling for control of smuggling routes, power, and money. But still, President Obama goes to Mexico apologizing for our firearm freedoms. This war is being waged with guns purchased not here, but in the United States, many from gun shops that line our shared border. We don't care about your laws here. We can get weapons anywhere. We get weapons from Honduras and El Salvador. Majority of the weapons are not coming from the U.S. Three quarters of the, the weapons that the cartel gets is supplied by the military. And that's just some excerpts from those NRA reports. The full reports are up at InfoWars.com. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds?